Hello YouTube, this is Gabriel, and this is the latest and greatest on my tank. I'm cutting out an extension to my current um, fish tank stand, and I'm just going to add the difference from the current stand to the new stand. So the front of it will still look good, like the new, like the like the old stand, and the back will just be some plywood painted black. So it's not going to look good in the back, but no one sees the back. So I'm going to just go ahead and make a little 50 inch long by 11 inch wide square with some four legs to just hold up the back 10 inches of the tank. The front 15 inches will be, excuse me, the front 14 inches will be held up by the, um, the original stand. Alrighty, got all the parts cut out. It's going to be the four legs right there. And that'll be the top of the base. Let me start getting that together and I'll add it to the video in a little bit. So here it is. Here's the extension. It's only 11 inches wide and it's 50 inches from side to side, which is what um, my current stand is. So what I did was on the sides, I just did a two by four this way, a two by four this way, screwed these, screwed these here, down there, and then on top, here, here, and here, three, and then these of course go into there. So it came out pretty decent. It's time for teardown. I'm gonna pull all the water fish everything out of there i've got two uh tanks here two 15 gallons with some sponge filters to hold them for a while while i pull my um that stand out put the other stand behind it set my new tank on it and then uh fill it back up and get the fish back in there hopefully i can do it without too much stress so here we are the tank is almost empty fish are a little bit scared so far i've taken out um, just a few, the two 15 gallon tanks that I had set up right there, one of them leaked. So I'm going to just put my two little yellow labs in there because they get picked on a lot. Most of the fish will go in here. I put the female in another bucket over there so she doesn't rile them up and I'll end up on my tank boss in this bucket by himself. Alrighty, so kind of stings. I'm a little bit frustrated, but it is what it is. Plugs ended up leaking. Luckily, uh, it wasn't a whole lot of water. Got some water back there, but started catching it. And these things, I'm going to empty them out for a second time in a little bit. Um, had the tank almost all the way full, so I was excited until it, uh, my wife noticed the leak. Um, ended up putting all my fish, my original fish tank on the floor. This water was really clear, but with all this ruckus, it, uh, it's foggy as heck right now. But my fish are going to stay down here on the floor for a little while until I send uh, this tank. I'm going to go ahead and just send it away and have them um, plug up those holes or replace the whole bottom glass. I don't know. I was told that I could get plexiglass and a whole lot of silicone and just put the silicone all over on the bottom, put a plexiglass, smash it down, and um, that would seal like if it were... A corner of the glass just let it sit for a couple of days with some weight on it and it would seal I could fill it up with water the pressure would actually hold the, the plexiglass down on the silicone and uh, it shouldn't leak has anyone heard of something like this um, let me know if that's even an option or should I just go ahead and take it to somewhere and have them plug the holes up or possibly replace the bottom glass or whatever has to be done I'm a little frustrated but the stand, see the front of the stand was the original stand. The back, as you saw, is what I made outside. Happy with the way that came out, but not so happy with the results of the tank. So this is Gabriel. I'm still uh, very blessed, very happy to have this. So you go ahead and have yourself a blessed day.